all right guys we're back with another one and this is my last word review on the pixel c tablet so here is the pixel c tablet with the folio case and one of the reasons why i got the folio case is because the folio case add extra protection folio case looks good folio case it's still connected magnetically and it just looks good there's two viewing angles and the main thing is it adds extra it add extra protection and just in case you drop your uh, uh, tablet you don't have to worry because as long as it's in the case it's going to be absolutely well protected and that's why I got the folio case so the folio case looks good and it also protects your device so let's get into let's that let's talk about the keyboard the keyboard is real clicky it has some solid solid touches feels good it's a very good case very good case um the keyboard is really nice so uh along that this is a great case it has a great keyboard attached to it so real good also it's a leather feel it's a leather feel feels thick feels like an actual book and it's real nice so imagine if this is you know you find a way to do some work on this tablet you're not going to have any problem typing you're not going to have any problem putting in your book bag or your briefcase it's really going to work out nice so the folio case is definitely a win the one gripe that i have about the folio case is that in some ways when you're opening it with one hand you pretty much will open it without the tablet attached so you have to pretty much use two hands and make sure you grab the tablet along with the case so that's my one gripe about it but other than that it's a real nice case now let's talk about the tablet itself the tablet is running the latest version of Android which is Android M and I'm telling you guys you can look forward of getting all the top-notch updates and the update I'm waiting for if this tablet will ever run Chrome OS so but right now it doesn't if it actually does I will do another review but other than that we're talking about this as a Android tablet and it definitely does that job very well so let's talk about this screen the screen is a 2560 by 1800 display and let me tell you guys this is a absolute gorgeous display very vibrant beautiful display you're not gonna have any problems watching your Netflix or or browsing the web or looking at your YouTube videos all in 1440p and above because the screen is definitely absolutely on point now if we go around the tablet you have the power button right here metal button and you have the volume button I wish they had another volume uh, button on the keyboard itself because sometimes I find myself looking for vo more volume on the keyboard but anyway here's the speakers and let me tell you the speakers sound real good 3.5 millimeter jack here's the other speaker on the other side also which are you my uh not micro USB this is type C so your type C cable that's the new advancement of, of cables so you're definitely gonna have that and it also charges up pretty fast all right here's sound test on this pixel C with its dual speakers coming out from the sides that's 50% volume about 80% volume 100% volume you're getting full stereo sound
Let's get into the camera. Now the camera is a big deal because we have, you know, two cameras. We have a back camera, which most tablets don't come with, and we have a front facing camera. So we have two cameras on here, front facing is two megapixels. And I feel it's okay, you know, for hangout calls, you're not gonna get no big top resolution out of it. It's okay. But the rear camera, eight megapixels, they could have gone with five, but they gone with an eight megapixel camera and I think the 8 megapixel camera is all right. You can take some pretty good, pretty good shots. With this camera. And you can also, you know, you can set it in whatever mode you may want it. So you can definitely take some good video with this camera. But don't be that dude, please. Don't be that dude in the graduation with the tab with the tablet like this blocking everybody's view because you want to get the shot of the kids. I hope you would have your cell phone with you. So bottom line, the OS works real nice. No issues with the OS. Any any way that you swipe you're gonna get your your toggles for your notifications. You're gonna be able to go into your settings, and settings is real setup, real simple, real clean. Android M stock Android is real simple, and a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people want multitasking, where you can put one uh, whether it's multitasking which way, whichever way, but you want to have something on one side of the screen, maybe something on the other and do your multitasking. We're, right now, you gotta settle for multitasking like this, going in and out of apps. And I don't have no problem with it because if you're gonna have true multitasking, true multitasking is when you could do it, have that split screen with any app you want. So until those uh, Samsungs of the world or the Apples have that split screen mode where you could do it with all apps, then you know what? Nobody truly has multitasking. So pretty much with that, this is the Pixel C tablet. Very worthwhile getting. If you really like that tablet experience, this might be something that you definitely want to get. So some of your videos that you watch, it's gonna be a little cut in half. They're gonna have, you know, the black bars in the top and the bottom. So that might annoy some people that it doesn't scale exactly the way you want it to scale and take advantage of this full 10.2 inch screen. A lot of you guys might have an issue with that. Uh, it, I don't, it doesn't really bother me, but when you're watching video and you have a 10.2 inch screen, you wanna see 10.2. You don't wanna see what's, what's this, 9.6 or 9.4 inch screen you, you're taking advantage of. So that might be an issue for some people, but what I gotta say right now, having this uh, folio keyboard to me is the best deal because it folds up real nice. Still see your beautiful uh, light bar that doubles as a battery indicator. And guess what? It will protect your investment. So with that, guys, this is the review of the Pixel C tablet with the Folio keyboard. It is definitely worth the investment to get the Folio keyboard. But I find that this Pixel C might be a little bit too expensive. So with that, see you guys in the next one.